In Acts chapter 6, we see Stephen and six others chosen to serve in the early church. The apostles were focused on their call to prayer and evangelism. They needed qualified leaders to assist in the daily administration of the early church. The congregation selected Stephen and six other leaders, and the apostles prayed and laid hands upon them. After this, we read that the word of God spread, and the number of disciples within the early Jerusalem church greatly increased. We see a direct correlation between the appointment of additional leaders and the resulting spread of the gospel. We're also reminded of what Jesus told his disciples in the gospels. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. These seven leaders were chosen and appointed for administrative duties within the early church. But we see that at least two of these seven leaders, Stephen and Philip, also received great anointing and power through their appointment by the apostles. This is another spiritual principle. When we are content to serve God's purposes, no matter how menial the task may seem at first, in due time God will promote us to serve Him in even greater tasks. Jesus said, whoever is faithful in that which is least will also be faithful in much. But whoever is unfaithful in that which is least will also be unfaithful in much. Jesus also said, to whomever has, to him more shall be given, and he shall have in greater abundance. But whoever does not have, even that which he has shall be taken away from him. In other words, God promotes those who are faithful in the responsibilities with which they've been entrusted. But for those who are unfaithful in the little things, even those small responsibilities will eventually be taken away from them and given to someone else. This is the principle of faithfulness in God's kingdom. God desires that we learn to serve God with gladness of heart, no matter how seemingly small or insignificant the task may appear at first. Remember the widow who only could give two pennies in the offering, but Jesus said she had given more than everyone else put together. God measures true greatness differently than how the world measures it. God looks upon the heart. When we learn to serve God with a pure and thankful heart, this pleases God. It also qualifies us to serve God in greater ways as He builds His character in us. Whatever God is asking you to do in service of Him, whether it may seem great or small, I want to encourage you today, don't despise the day of small beginnings. Rather, learn how to enjoy serving God faithfully, even in the small things. As you do, and as you're faithful with what God has entrusted you, Jesus promises that in due season, you will grow in Christian maturity to also become faithful with much. Mm -hmm.